What's going on everyone? My name's Teba and today we're gonna figure out what Generation Zero's ultimate stealth weapon is in the game. We have a ton of strong contenders in the game, but I've got eight of what I consider to be the top of the stealth meta. And so today I'll put these guns through the tests and score them with the scoring system that I kind of whipped up just for this video. If you enjoy the video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button, but Either way, I just want to say thank you for being here and watching my content in the beginning here instead of the end as I usually do. So let's get into these tests with the first one I've devised as a kind of general stealth combat test. First up, we have the shotgun, and I know, I know, you, you might be thinking Tabba's on the drugs again calling shotguns stealth weapons, but dang it, if we could put a suppressor on it, I think it lives up to at least being potentially a stealth weapon. And when you load slugs in, you reduce the chances of having your scattershot aggro unintended enemies. The slug also serves a big thing that I consider to be key for a good stealth weapon, damage output. The heavy punch of the slug can turn the shotgun into a one-shot stealth weapon matching hunting rifles even, at least in kill potential. The 12G with the suppressor is a great utility-based secondary weapon in any stealth loadout, even if it itself isn't the stealthiest of guns. Now for a sidearm I consider top of the stealth meta, the 44 Magnus. The Magnum in Generation Zero is a loud as heck gun, so getting a suppressor on it is key, but luckily the handgun suppressors hold the largest amount of noise reduction. Now let's take a second to talk suppressors here. We have a bunch of options from assault to hunting rifle suppressors, but I don't consider assault rifles in Generation Zero to be a stealth based weapon myself. They offer lots of burner ammo, but the lack of kill potential nixes them from this list for, for me personally. Handguns offer the highest of uh, amount of noise reduction, with hunting rifles coming in second, and with shotgun suppressors filling up the bottom tier of stealth benefit. So with the crazy amount of damage and power in behind the 44 Magnus, alongside the suppressor, you wind up turning it into one of the nastiest stealth weapons in the game. Now for the two guns that I think will be at the top of everyone's stealth list, the hunting rifles. We have two in the game as of making this video. One chambered in 270 and another in 243. The Alex or Moose Bouncer has the higher damage but lower mag capacity while the Mauser has one extra bullet. Due to the negligible drop in damage, the Mauser to me is the better of two options. But the ALG just feels great to use, can work slightly better against armored opponents, and offers shock ammo, which is a huge powerhouse here in Generation Zero. But the 243, in terms of general stealth performance, can definitely hold its own and has its own benefits of a higher mag capacity and slightly quieter overall noise production. But to the deficit of the Mauser is its explosive ammo for its experimental option. Explosive ammo is just not very good for any sort of stealth play here in Generation Zero. It would be awesome to see that changed around though because it would greatly benefit the Mauser in terms of giving more utility and options to its stealth play. But as it stands, shock ammunition is the ultimate stealth ammunition to utilize. Now for the bow, the new boyo on the block and a damn monster of stealth play. Offering crazy damage output on components, multiple arrows for utility, and a very high risk reward factor, the bow is probably my favorite stealth weapon as of making this video. But that doesn't mean it objectively is the best stealth weapon. We'll wait until the end to see if the scores reflect my personal feelings here come the end of all of this. Now for a weapon you maybe didn't see coming on this list, the experimental sledgehammer. Stealthy sledge gang, let's go! But 
on the real, this sledge is actually stealth for, uh, stealth for great. Yeah, great for stealth. Uh, manual EMPs with high damage output lightning, low area of engagement, no ammo, so missed shot leeway doesn't exist. Melee weapons in general are very high up on the stealth meta for me. The, the question is, does the experimental sledge have enough uniquity to it to be better than the pitchfork's reach advantage? And that is a very hard thing to gauge here in the game. The pitchfork's reach advantage is massive, but that damage drop and the serious reduction in damage between the two, uh, I think works against the pitchfork a little bit more uh, than the benefit of having that higher damage and as well having the benefit of that higher damage at a technically longer distance when you have the EMP charged up. Stealth in Generation Zero is not easy by any means. There's a number of very difficult factors to deal with. Enemies that can see through walls, enemies that have auto detection, uh, you know, very, very easily aggravated enemies as well. Um, so there's a lot that you have to kind of, you know, test your skill against when it comes to the stealth in Generation Zero. Uh, so my hope is with this video is to have things figured out so that new players can potentially come to the game and have a good list of weapons to go to if they want to engage in stealth play here. But luckily, stealth is not mandatory and Generation Zero is very, very far from a stealth video game. For the last weapon of the bunch, the AT-1. Probably the only weapon outside of the bow that was fully designed for stealth gameplay. Lacking all the power of its alternatives here in Generation Zero, the AT Wad actually sits pretty low on the stealth tier list for me. But still, I wanted to include it as it is designed for the topic at hand at least, just like the bow. But yeah, just like how I wouldn't choose an assault rifle. I definitely wouldn't choose the AT Wad myself either for a stealth loadout. It's got its benefits of massively low engagement range, allowing for you to fire in full auto and be less concerned about accuracy and focus more on DPS. But again, on a personal preference, that's not how I like to go about stealthing in video games. So. I'm gonna leave the scores of these guns till the very end of this video, but we just have a little bit more testing to go through here. So the next test that I've kind of devised for figuring out the stealthiest gun here in Generation Zero is the missed shot leeway test. This is something that I've talked about in the past here on my channel, but essentially missed shot leeway is your ability to miss shots and then have the opportunity to fire a follow up shot without blowing your cover. Coming on over to the Phoenix bases here so that that way I can fire off some pot shots towards some seekers because they're the most astute or aware enemies in the game, therefore giving us kind of like the best gauge on how many shots we can miss. We'll start off firing slow and then fire fast for these guns, but I'm gonna kind of speed things up here and just give you dudes my general findings. So the way it goes here is with the AT wad you get somewhere around like 15 rounds that you can burn off and miss before the enemies are aware of you the machines are aware of you with the handgun it's even less it's somewhere close to like five six shots pretty much a full magazine and then with the shotgun it's even less than that only being maybe two or three but one of the big things that we have talked about here is the noise suppression from suppressors. And what this does is it increases the amount of distance that you can be, like, away from the enemy and have them not notice your shot, which can greatly improve the amount of missed shot leeway that your weapon has. Long story short, there are three weapons that have pretty much borderline infinite missed shot leeway at even relatively close distances. And those are the two hunting rifles as well as the bow. 
even though with the other weapons you can get that infinite miss shot leeway, you have to be further and further back in order to have that actually happen. Now outside of miss shot leeway, we have one more thing to talk about here that is not so easy to show off, and more so is something that I've made as general observations for quite a while here. And that is being able to attack the enemy, the enemy machine, without it becoming immediately aware that it's being attacked. And I've only seen this on the bow, and very, very rarely on hunting rifles, but I wonder if that's legit, or if that's just kind of the quirkiness of Generation Zero. It's very hard to test stealth in Generation Zero because of the aforementioned machine abilities of scanning and detecting, as well as the kind of oddness of certain behavioral patterns like what we see with when enemies get attacked. This is just kind of what goes into the testing factor, where it's like these non-credible uh, facets have to be slightly credited, but with, with a touch of salt. So, come the end of this massive amount of testing, you guys haven't seen too much, but I did three tests for the uh, general stealth test, and then I did two tests each for the missed shot leeway. But the score is, in first place, the Mauser, second place, the Alex Stutzer, and then third place, the Bow, all scoring three. Then from there, we have the Magnus, the Sledge, the 12G, and the Pitchfork scoring two. And then the AT Wad scoring just a measly one on this score list here, uh, kind of proving itself to be the bottom of the top of the stealth meta. So let me know, would you rearrange this list in any way, shape, or form? Are there any weapons you would add to this list and maybe, uh, you know, increase the amount of weapons in the stealth meta? Let me know all of your thoughts and feelings down in the comments below. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the last bow highlight type videos that I do for a little bit here, and we're going to reserve that guy just for, you know, background footage from now on, but I gotta say, man, this is the first pack that's given me like an entire week's worth of content and ideas here uh, so just a really really awesome pack uh, in resistance pack one which has me even more excited for resistance pack two but for now thank you very much for watching hopefully this helped answer some questions if you had any about the stealth meta in generation zero but for now my dudes stay awesome and i will catch you all in the next one until then peace